What is going on guys and welcome to another episode of Dirty Dirt Fishing. And today I'm going to be doing some ice fishing, obviously. Today I'm going for some bass, some pickerel, maybe a big yellow perch. But kind of the purpose of this video is not only to catch fish, but to show you guys the kind of tip-ups I'm using. Now I just bought these tip-ups this year. So I was using kind of the old fashioned wooden ones. And I just have to say, I'm glad I made the switch. One of my favorite things about this kind of tip up is they have this little compartment built right into the tip up. I think that's one of the coolest features, honestly. What I'm using on this tip up is six pound fluorocarbon to a split shot. And then I have 30 pound tip up line, just a super simple setup. And another thing too is I bought a new mic for my GoPro, but the adapter for it doesn't fit the case that my GoPro's in right now. So I have to drill a hole, well, a bigger hole in my GoPro case so I can actually fit the adapter into my GoPro for my mic. The cool thing about these tip-ups too is they're so easy to use. And I love the black flag that comes with it because on really sunny days, that bright yellow color is gonna be actually kind of hard to see against the white snow. And of course, I forgot to charge my good camera too, so I'm going to be filming mostly on my GoPro today. But as you guys can tell, my ice hole, well, I hope you guys can tell, my ice hole is starting to freeze over. And the cool thing about these tip-ups are this foam here insulates the hole. So on a really cold day, you're not going to have your hole freeze up on you. Oops. And one thing when setting it up, is at first I put this straight up and down like this but if you have it straight up and down it's really hard for the flag to stay put like if I let go it just springs up like that so what you want to do is push it all the way as far as it can go so it's a little bit tilted to the right then if you put the flag on it should stay another thing I like about these tip-ups is when you have a fish on and the spool is turning, you can tell when the fish is running because of this thing up top here. I think that's also really sweet. And these tip-ups came with a nighttime fishing bobber, or whatever it's called. You just put it on your flag, and there's a ball bearing in here that when it stands vertical, it completes the connection, and when it's horizontal and the flag is down, the ball bearing doesn't complete the connection, so it doesn't get lit up. Pretty neat. And these tip-ups are only $20 a piece. To me, a $20 tip-up is actually a pretty good deal. And I've used these now five times. And I've never had any issues with any of them. Just to give you guys another quick rundown of how I set this up. Just lift the flag up all the way. Pull the flag up to the top. And you don't want this thing pointing straight up and down. You just want it a little bit to the right using six pound line, 30 pound tip up line. Then I got a small hook here. Not quite sure what kind of hook, just a small one. Bring the shiner up through the nose. And then a foot up the line, I have a split shot. And then again, my 30 pound tip up line. All right, as soon as I turned off my camera, flag went up right in front of me. Now I don't really see it moving. Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Got him. Now I'll show you guys how I do my hook set how I use this when I actually have a fish on the line. Because if you guys can tell, I hooked him right in the corner of the mouth. So there was no chance of him snapping my line right there. There we go. But unfortunately the first fish of the day is just a little pickerel. Nothing too interesting. Now how I catch a fish on a tip up is not very complicated. But also, it's not just I grab the line and yank it. That's a quick way to get yourself snapped off. Especially when, you've, when you're fishing lakes and ponds that have pickerel in it. Oh man. 
I'd love to finish my spiel, but I just got a flag. Well, I guess I can just show you guys what I do. First, I wait until this stops spinning. If it's spinning really fast, I just stop and wait for it to stop like it is right now. Then, I pull this tip up out farther than where I'm gonna set it down. That way, when I bring it back, it creates slack in the line, which gives me a few seconds to feel for the weight of the fish. There's nothing on it. Oh, something was there. See all of his scales being ripped off? Something had him in his mouth. Alright, I finally got a flag. It had to have been another half an hour, 45 minutes. So I'm going to show you guys what I do when I have a flag. Notice how this top part's spinning. I'm gonna wait till it stops. Pull this farther than I'm gonna set it down onto the ice and then bring it back. And that creates slack in the line, which gives me time to set the hook into the fish. Oh my goodness. What a fat perch. But look at that fat belly probably full of eggs but this is a beautiful perch nice and fat awesome let's put them back put like a little balloon in my hand right there a little water balloon a little chunky guy you gotta be kidding me I was just about to go check up the tips and I had two go off at the same time So what I'm going to do is try to catch this one real quickly and get to the other one real quickly. What I want to do is remember to bring it back farther than I want to, then bring it back towards me. It gives me a second to feel the weight of the fish. Ah. Whatever the fish was went down in the weeds and I lost him. So let's get the shiner back down in there real quick. Let's head over to this flag. Remember, pick up the flag when this is not moving. Pull it back, bring it back towards you. Ugh. Shiner's gone. Dang. Wasn't quick enough to this one. Uh, that flag I just set up is already back up again, but I think it's a false flag. Oh. <laughs> There is a fish on here. Ah. Pickerel. That one's kind of a fat pickerel right there. All right, now I have to go back to my other tip because my other tip went back up again. Yep, there is a fish on this one. Jeez, I think, see, I'm waiting for this to stop. Ooh, that might be a bass. That slow, steady turning. That might be a bass. I just need to wait for him to pause. And then I'm going to get him. Alright, if he's not going to stop, I'm just going to get him. Oh, 
almost snapped it. Here I am trying to give you guys a video on how to catch fish and I set the hook way too hard right there. Now that was nothing but weight. I bet this is just a little perch. Miss the big fish. Catch a little perch. Ah, he spit it. Why am I so bad? Okay, so I finally got a flag, probably after half an hour. I think it's a small pickerel. But you just have to keep tension on him. Oh, nice, it's a bass. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Look at that hook set. Just roof of the mouth. Perfect. It should just pop right out. <laughs> there we go. That's what we're looking for right here. And he's definitely been caught before, right here. Because I had him perfectly in the roof, but that is awesome. This is the target species. Not the right size though, but hey, I'll take it for sure. I don't know if my GoPro can pick it up, but my auger and skimmer are over there. I was about to drill new holes. Alright, I got another tip for you here. Hopefully my GoPro doesn't die. I'm not going to lie, that's on its last bar too. See what we got here. Got him. Ooh! He seemed heavy right there. So now he seems tiny. It's a pickerel. Why isn't he fighting? 